Okay guys, so another eBay find. This is an old Matchbox truck. And I just saw this. Let me make sure I'm opening this up the right way. They made this box. And so it's kind of all going all kinds of different directions. But, um, like this top part and this whole piece here is all one piece actually so is this side and this side so it's all one piece of cardboard which I cut but it doesn't maybe that's not how it opens because that part's glued together maybe it opens from the side I've never had to experiment how to open up a box But, anyways, I saw this truck on another YouTuber's channel, and um, he, he was in Canada, and he purchased it for like $20 Canadian, so I think this was $20 US. I shouldn't cut in my direction, but whatever. But, um... Oh, it's blue. And, but when I saw it, I looked it up on eBay because I was like, oh, I want that truck. That's super cool. So I looked it up on eBay, and it was the first truck that popped up. Right, ex exact same colors and everything. So let's look at it now. It's packaged very nicely. What do these sound like when you pop them? Oh, they don't pop. That's so weird. They don't pop. The air just goes in other parts of the bubbles. They're not, like, connected in any way. So oh, this is the truck. It's wrapped in yellow tissue paper. And the front of the trailer. The tra I thought the trailer was cool because it came apart in two different pieces, like a real one, which I'll show you in a minute. There's the big scammel cab over truck. That's so cool. There we go cracker box type of truck and then this part pulls out you know like that and then we're gonna open up our trailer and this is the low loader uh, truck that's what matchbox called it And there it is. Very nice, heavy, die-cast truck. It used to have a working winch on it. There's no string on the winch, but that's okay. There's a little plastic piece that the front of the trailer goes into. So let me get all this packing stuff out of the way. So, there's the truck <clears throat> when it's all put together. This is the low loader from Matchbox. This is the old Lesney from England. And I'm gonna take it apart so I can handle it better. There you go, low loader made in England. This is from 1973. And if you couldn't tell, or if you're not familiar with the old Matchbox, this is in the Super Kings series. This, this is number K tw looks like 25 25 or 23 here here's the front piece K23 so we'll take a look at the trailer in a second here's the truck the Scammel Crusader over here in the US we don't have very many Scammel trucks so that just makes this truck that much cooler. It's a nice blue color. It's a little darker than what it's showing up on the camera. Or at least right now. Probably once the video processes it'll look the right color as it usually does. There you go, 1973. Scammel Tractor. And I'm curious, since they're both from 73, 
did Matchbox cast this truck to pull this trailer? Or did they just happen to put them together and they both were cast at the same year? Because I've got a Super King here, a Texaco truck, and it's also from 73. A lot of the Super Kings were from the 73 era. I've got a note here for a Super King Honda uh, transporter truck that I'm looking for. And it's from 80. So I know they made them more than just that year. But So here's something I wondered. And I wondered, it appears to be I wondered correctly. Let me adjust... Okay, so Matchbox, even back in the 70s, was doing what all the companies do now. They were smart and used the same pieces for different trucks, and they still look the same. These The stacks on this truck are a little shorter, or the stacks on this truck are shorter than these. And they're silver on the top. It appears they were originally like that. And they probably were, because on this truck they would have stuck up over the cab. So this whole, the whole uh, smokestacks and everything are the same piece. And then, of course, the U-shaped um, thing that the trailer goes into is the same. But, I mean, that that's just kind of a given that that would be the same. Now, since this is a cab over, this one doesn't open up. This truck, the, the hood opens up. So that's kind of cool. But... Like this trailer will hook up to any uh, Matchbox truck. It'd probably hook up to a lot of different kinds of trucks, but the Matchbox trucks, what I've got here, the Ford looks better pulling it, I think. But um, the, with this being a cab over, this probably turns a little better than this does. This has a. This is on a longer chassis. You can see the length difference. This. The Ford's almost a uh, whole wheel length longer than the chassis of the Scammel. So, like, if I were to, I'm gonna zoom out. Yep, I'm gonna just say that I would turn this corner like this. See, I got real close to these CDs and stuff that's over here. But if I did that, oops, I moved them over. Now if I did that with the Scammel, and my assumption is that everything's in the same spot, and I turn the same, I tried to turn the same way. Um, this turns better, this works better with this trailer, but I'm... I guess we haven't looked at the trailer yet. I was going to demonstrate how it works, but I'll do that in a second. It's a nice kind of mustard gold color. I don't know what color this really is. Kind of a goldish color trailer. There's the back of it. Like I said, it's supposed to have a little winch on here. And it actually worked when it was on here, but this one doesn't have that. There we. What kind of tools do we have in there? A shovel, a pickaxe, a regular axe, some rope. I think that little round thing is a bucket, and a broom. That's cool. And then this front part here says King. I would assume because it's in the Super King series, they just kind of did something cool like that how thin this trailer is but it's so wide and it's a fairly heavy casting for no more than what's here now that we've looked at that and we've looked at the truck I'm going to demonstrate how this works see this plastic thing here this pulls out I gotta be careful because it's old just pulls out like that and I'll show you why but it just slides in that yellow thing, little yellow plastic thing. Okay, so 
say we wanted to transport that tractor somewhere okay so the truck pulls up like that now it would detach from the trailer it would pull forward and detach from the trailer like that and this is how these trailers work in real life too this is how these low boy trailers work as most people refer to these a low boy trailer so then you would you know drive the tractor back up on here like that and the truck backs up and I struggle to get it back together carefully tractors on there you're ready to go so there's that truck and um, it'll a pretty long vehicle I would assume would probably go on this that looks pretty accurate looks pretty loaded but looks accurate So I'm going to attempt to fit this on the turntable and I'll spin it around for you guys. If you have any questions about the truck, leave them in the comments below. Um, is there a little spot in the paint there, but other than that it looks okay. There's inside the cab. Alright, so if you have any questions about the truck or the trailer or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. And again, I don't know if I mentioned this is called Low Loader. That's what Matchbox called this, or Lesney called this, I should say. Because at, at, in 73, Lesney was still making Matchbox, their Lesney products. So I'll try to get this long thing on the turntable. I think it will just barely fit. And if that's all. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Concrete blocks and bales of hay, second steel.